I'm Lindsay, founder of My Better Batch, and today we are making S'mores Bliss cookies. It's the cookie featured on the back of my chocolate chunk cookie mix. Now, I created My Better Batch to simplify life without sacrificing taste. And this chocolate chunk cookie mix is loaded with premium semi-sweet chocolate and makes the perfect base for our S'mores Bliss cookies. Let's get baking. For this recipe, you'll need one box of My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix prepared according to package instructions with one large egg and six tablespoons of unsalted butter softened. You'll also need half a cup of graham crackers crushed and eight to 10 large marshmallows cut in half. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees and let's get started. To make these S'mores Bliss cookies, we're gonna follow the preparation instructions on the back of the chocolate chunk cookie box. So in the base of my stand mixer with the paddle attachment, I'll add my chocolate chunk cookie mix, egg, and unsalted butter. Let's mix on medium low speed to allow these ingredients to fully combine. Yep, it is really that simple. Now, keep in mind sometimes it can take a bit for these ingredients to fully incorporate. It may seem like your dough will never form. Just be patient. The process could take about two to three minutes. Although I'm using my stand mixer, you also could use a hand mixer or mix by hand. If you're mixing by hand, it's really simple. Just add your ingredients to a medium sized mixing bowl, stir to combine, and then roll up your sleeves and hand knead the dough. If we were making my chocolate chunk cookies, you'd be ready to scoop, bake, and enjoy. But for these S'mores Bliss cookies, we need to make one addition at this point. We're gonna add half a cup of crushed graham crackers. Once you do this, go ahead and turn your mixer back on low speed for about 30 seconds to allow these graham crackers to mix into your cookie dough. Your dough is ready when it looks like this. Use a cookie scoop or spoon to scoop about two tablespoons of cookie dough onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. Your dough will be about one and a half inches in diameter and should be placed on the cookie sheet about two and a half inches apart. Now, no s'more is complete without ooey gooey marshmallow. And that's exactly what we're gonna put in the middle of our cookie. To do this, you'll flatten the cookie dough in the palm of your hand and then place half of a large marshmallow right in the middle. Then go ahead and wrap the dough around the marshmallow, making sure it's fully covered on the bottom and sides, but leaving a small portion poking through the top. Baking with marshmallows can be tricky, and I found that this is the best way to prevent a sticky mess. They are ready to head into the oven that's been preheated to 375 degrees. We're gonna bake for about nine to 11 minutes or until the edges are set and your marshmallow looks toasty. I'm a sucker for s'mores, and this cookie just happens to be one of my weaknesses. Marshmallow, graham cracker, chocolate. It was so simple, and it's so impressive. And it just happened to start with a box of My Better Batch chocolate chunk cookie mix. My Better Batch is for people who love baking and love people through baking. So go on and take the shortcut. You'll be really glad you did. Each one of our boxes has a QR code on the back. Make sure you scan this for more recipes, baking tips, and inspiration. I'm Lindsay from My Better Batch. Happy baking. Thank you.